there, how you doing? I'm Pete Thornton and thank you very much for taking time to click on this video and watch one of our drinks from episode 47 of our Cocktail Collective Live series which has been going out every single Friday at 6 o'clock on the official at Black Tears Cuban Spice Rum pages. So this is one of our drinks. As always we make two normally so check out the other video to see what the other drink was. So I already have a service glass chilling down. Um, you could substitute this glass for a tumbler or a whiskey glass or something like that or even a large wine glass or something like that. I've already got ice in my shaker ready to go. I'm using oversized ice, one just one big ice cube to shake with. Um, yeah, that's it. Are we ready? It's a really simple drink so we can get cracking nice and early. So we're going to start off the proceedings with a nice large or as we say standard pour of Black Tears Dry Spiced Cuban Rum. That's gone into our service, into our shaker. There we go. And then we're gonna go with some dry sherry. We're gonna go 20 milliliters of uh, dry sherry. You could use vermouth if you wish, dry vermouth, blanca, uh, branco, whatever you wanna call it, white vermouth, um, as long as it's nice and dry. I'm also gonna do the same Measurement, so 20 ml again of Pedro Jimenez or sweet sherry. Um, but again, you could switch this for a sweet vermouth if you have that at home and to hand. Um, yeah, work equally as well. Be nice and refreshing all the same. We're then going to go with two dashes of Peychard's bitters. You could use aromatic or orange or whatever cocktail bitters you have. Have a play around with it. That's the fun, right? And then we're going to go with half an egg white. I've already pre-measured this. This is half an egg white straight in. Appreciate egg white's not for everyone. Um, so you can get vegan friendly um, foamers. This is purely about consistency, about viscosity to make the drink really nice and velvety. Um, or don't put it in at all. That's it. It's up to you. Uh, we're then going to go with 60, 60 millilitres of iced water and I know it might seem a little bit strange to put iced water into a cocktail um, but it works in this occasion it absolutely works we try to lengthen the alcohol that we've put in um, but yeah so get some ice cubes melted um, or a glass with uh, water and a lot of ice so that it's super duper duper cold I've got one eighth one wedge of orange in here and half um, of that of a lemon so a little bit of orange juice and lemon juice going in. So again, one eighth or one wedge of orange versus one half of a wedge of lime juice, okay? This is going there, just lift the whole drink, bonds together the sherries, uh, brings the sweetness together from the rums and the sherry and also from uh, the, the fruits itself. So we're gonna give our shaker a good seal if you're using a two-piece, give it a good crack and we're going to shake it hard and well for about 20 seconds. We need to put some effort in, all right, because we've got the egg white. So we really need to work that up to make it really nice and frothy and velvety. So are we set? Three, a two, one, let's shake. Yeah, come on, nice and big. That's what we're looking for. Put some effort in. Make it a bit of a mess, but it's all right, we're good. There we go. Spray a bit today. Big effort. Come on. Remember to breathe and remember to keep count as well. And then we go three, two, one. That should do us. It was a bit of a mess that one, didn't it? Okay. Let's have a look. Yes, we've got the desired effect that we needed, which is good. Glass chilling down. We're now going to get rid of that water keep the ice that's in there just get rid of the water okay as you can see i've got again another oversized large ice cube in there so i'm going to keep that in and then i'm going to fine strain i mean look at that beautiful great viscosity beautiful frothiness on the top of the drink there yeah all the froth out. Looks ace, doesn't it? It's good, that. I like it. And then, 
a very nice light gentle dusting of nutmeg swap that out if you like for cinnamon or something uh something similar to that um, and then yeah just take another orange wedge take the skin from that don't take too much of the pith but basically if you just peel the orange wedge leave quite a bit of the pith on the orange and then what we're going to do is give that a really good twist oops over our drink yeah it smells amazing i hope it does where you are then we'll just plonk the orange wedge in there and there you go this was our cubese or cubis uh, depending on how you want to pronounce it created specifically for episode 47 of our cocktail collective live hope to see you there sometime soon thank you very much enjoy <laughs>